Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Beer is Tasty. My name is Chris. And I am Brian. Hey, Brian, I miss the hell out of you. Welcome back to Beer is Tasty. It's nice to see you again, <laughs> my <laughs> friend. <laughs> so, if you haven't been watching the last few episodes of Beer is Tasty, we are drunk by uh, this point. And we are reviewing, we're doing a Mexican beer theme for the month. So, you've missed also, right. because you're an idiot, loser moron, you've missed a bunch of other ones. So, you should probably go back and watch. The other ones where we talk about some Mexican beer. We talked about Mexican beer. All right, so first we did uh, the Dos Equis. Dos uh, Equis. Uh, Lager. Uh, uh, dos. No. Uh, dos. Uh, which stands for Amber. Dis Disc Operating System Equi. I don't know we what did, that means. We did Dos Equis Amber, which is good. We liked it. It was all right. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's very drinkable. And then we moved on to the um, the Cervex of the Pacific O. Yeah. Oh, Clara. Pacifico Clara. I don't know what the hell that means. It was all right. I, I didn't taste anything. I didn't taste a flavor. Now, granted, I'd already had like 12 dude, beers. Dude, they can go watch it. You don't got to tell them. They can watch it. But They like, probably watched it. No, this is like a highlights reel, yo. Oh, okay. They're like, it's, this is like previously on Beer is Tasty. And, yeah. like, and like we're like, we're like yeah. reliving. Like right now, before you totally broke the fourth wall, yeah. they thought they you were know what watching I find clips from the previous Here's show. Here's the thing. is You could have gone with the 24 like... Proves on 24. Boom. You went lost. And I know you went lost, and you know you went lost. <laughs> Here's the Let's thing. do a show. Come on. Here's we got to do a show. Because <laughs> you went lost, and you should have got 24. I <laughs> should have. <laughs> yeah. Man, I screwed that up. <laughs> All right. Are so, we doing a show right now? Yeah, we're doing a show. We're doing Tecate, actually. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Mirror Station. We already did all that stuff. All right, we're doing the tea cake today. The tea cake's uh, going this with, is, with all right, the guacamole. So, hold on, hold on. All right, so I want to talk about the can for a minute of the tea cake. Tecate. Whatever. Now, there's there's this thing. It says up on the top, and you guys can't see this because of the resolution limitation of internet distribution what? network. That's true. Uh, but it says uh, Saber <laughs> Completo, which means that it has a complete sword you know, inside. I should mention inside this. every can, you get one free complete I gotta, sword. I gotta just make a disclaimer here. I have had three of these already before we've done this show, and I have not gotten a single oh, sword. No. So I think we got a defunct one. Well, first of all, that's why I sell them in 18 screw packs. Screw you, uh, to Kate Incorporated. Uh, and below it, it says that the henchmen are in Mexico. <laughs> it does say that. <laughs> it says that right it here. Says that. <laughs> and here's the thing, they're right underneath the mountains. <laughs> That's true. They're telling you where they are. <laughs> Stupid Mexican supervillain. <laughs> Put your henchmen in your secret base, not underneath the only mountain in Mexico. Oh, don't, don't put it on a beer. On, the feds are in the United it's States. It's under Mount Mexico. So Jesus, Mother of Mercy and Christ Almighty, you know, jumping Jehoshaphat. This is, that's wrong. Now, this is the thing, Brian. Now here's, hold on. All right. I'm not finished All yet. right. The other problem I have with this is they've got the Nazi bird on the top. Oh, I do have a problem with that. There's the Nazi bird on the top, yeah. and I'm like, okay, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to fault the bird. Yeah. No, you know wait, what wait, You know what the don't... T stands for, though? Tyrant. And you know what Hitler was? A tyrant. <laughs> this is messed up. How out of touch do you got to be? You know, like, how you don't know about music anymore? These guys don't know about everything else. Because I don't know about music anymore. I know you we don't. Were, we but you know not to use the Hitler bird. No, hold oh, yeah, I know not to right? use the Hitler bird. So you're doing a good job, dude. But I'm not in Mexico. Maybe they don't have Hitler in Mexico. I think they did. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Did Hitler go to Mexico? Well, I think he died for our sins, dude, <laughs> down there. <laughs> okay, now that, that was somehow both <laughs> religious and racist, and I loved it. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, read word is bottled. Brewed and bottled by okay, skip that word. Brewed and canned by that. Cervica. All right, what's that next word? Kathamaka, Mutsumama, <laughs> Montemurmi. <laughs> I don't know. I think that says Montezuma. Hey, let's open these things Isn't up. Isn't that when you get like the craps when you go to Mexico? Montezuma's revenge. Montezuma's revenge. That's right. You don't want that. All right, I got a little hair on mine. All right, I have to. I have to be honest. Everybody. We can only buy these in an 18 pack, so we've had a few of these. We've had a number already. I'm gonna take one, and I'm gonna be like, I've never put this in my mouth before. I have all night long. Uh, that's not to say I like it all that much. <laughs> I'm just saying I've been drinking it a lot. I don't know how I did that. A little cleanup over here. <laughs> Dude, this is like beer number 12 for you. So, you that know, is, this is pretty simple beer. It's not gonna lie to everybody. Beer. Um, it um. Here, put some chips in your mouth. All right, and again, uh, we're doing this all uh, HO and Mexico style, which means uh, this is chips are on the table. Okay. Hey, do they have guacamole in Mexico? I think so. That's that's why I got some. 
this. What do you think of this guacamole? Tell me about this. You're not a big guacamole guy. I mean, you like, guacamole, like guacamole, but you're not a big guacamole it's guy. It's not like my thing. No, you, yeah. I like it. I put it in my mouth. It's like, it's like a good source of fat from vegetables. And I think that that is really cool that you can get a lot of fat from a vegetable. Me too. So I dig it. I respect that about the avocado quite a bit. I totally do. I totally what do you do. think of this, though? It's all right. It's straight out of the pack at Costco. Straight out of the pack. No way. Straight from Costco? Just frozen, and like I just defrosted it before the show. Ah, I threw it in a bowl. That is totally my style of eating food. Bob's your uncle. Now Bob I'm drinking with Tecate. Bob's my uncle with, uh, with so the El Guaco. So how does the, old, how does the El Guaco go with the old de El Decato, Brian? Just the tea cake. <laughs> mm-hmm. It goes fine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and thanks everybody for watching Paris <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> Five and a half minutes of racism, three and a half minutes of complete ignorance, and it's okay. <laughs> Credits. No, wait, wait, you look this up online. They what, call they, it, what do they call it? What do they call it? You ready for this, everybody? They call it an American adjunct lager. What does that even mean? Here's no, no, no. what they say. Here's adjunct the description. It's like next to a lager. Here's so what it's they American do. and it's next to a lager, <laughs> dude. Here it is. All right, bring it. It's because the, the beer is designed right for mass, pro, right pro, uh, you know, production. <laughs> Here's the thing. Are you reading that word? Yeah. You're reading that word. Yeah. You stopped halfway through and couldn't do it. Oh, sorry. And we're, we're recording right now. Here's the thing. With Here's a what green they say. screen and, like, production quality. <laughs> <laughs> we are retarded. High definition. So what we're saying is you shouldn't get offended because we're just a couple of idiots on the internet. Right. Also, um, Mexicans are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and if you'd like to give us feedback... Wait, wait, no, 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 read the thing. Read the oh! Thing. We're, we're doing so thing. Don't go to the feedback yet. It's an adjunct logger, right. everybody. That means, here's what they say. Just lean over and focus on reading, It man. says, hold don't on, I gotta, for you. I gotta zoom it in, dude. No, I, gotta, I know. The, <laughs> you right. are, you're zooming it in just okay. so you can read the other thing. Cutting right flavor and sometimes costs uh, to, for mass production using adjunct cereal grains like rice and corn. So it's brewed with rice and corn instead of like a wheat, or like a like you know, they, what they what they do instead is like kind of like a Budweiser where they do like a rice. <laughs> so wait, no, 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 we're not done yet. Oh, you oh. forgot about all the stuff we 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 had to do. We did research, you guys. We did research. We went on the internet all the time before the show. Yep. All of the time. Hold on, we dude, I'm to, getting there. Don't go to the ticate.com or whatever it no. was. No! The website. I don't know so how to read we any sat of down. it. Okay. To go, to, go to it. I'm so, there right now. So we were like, well, well, let's find out. Let's let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Wait, sorry, they don't have horses uh, in Mexico. What do they have in Mexico? Uh, like, El Horsos. El Horsos. They have, you heard it from the burro's <laughs> mouth. That's a phrase now. Uh, Are we still where, going? Yes, we're still going. Why? Would you, it, we'd be done. If okay. you let me be done. Okay. You want to just chill? I'm going. This is a nice hat, I'm by the good. way. I'm good. Thank you. No one, no one yet. You want a hat, dude? Here's the thing. Do you want a hat? Oh. We've been going. Hey, no, no, no. no. Grab that hat right oh, there. Just do the I top just one. I just want to see him in the hat. Dude, the top one. Toss no. me the hat, man. No, not that hat. Give Don't him the other give hat. Don't give me the straw hat, yo. Don't give him that hat. Give him this hat. You like how I added yo to that? Yeah, I do, dude. That really made me All right, here. Hat up. And then and then we'll pose like this. Okay. What's up? It's a 40. What would you do? Right? What would you give this as a rating? <laughs> um, I'm going to give this a Nazi. Uh, I would give it a letter grade. Nazis don't deserve letter grades. Get rid of the bird. That's all I'm saying. Uh, it's a Nazi beer. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to give it. Man's got to draw the line somewhere. You know what? I'll go with you, dude. I'm going to give it a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. I just peer pressured a man into rating a beer. Nazi beer. <laughs> Only on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, will you find that sort of class and That's discrimination. Right. Actually, this is some of the quality you can find over at <laughs> JupiterBroadcasting.com. Yeah. We're going to find this show every Friday, and we want to say thanks to everybody for your feedback on the Beer is Tasty on location. We're going to do a lot more of that stuff because you guys love that. I actually would like to mention this real quick. I saw an episode we did... What was the last episode that came out? Well, it was like Diamond Knot stuff. The, it was some of the Diamond Knot we stuff? We were with Dick. We, Steve. we were talking with this guy named Dick, and uh, yeah. uh, so you guys, oh. this was like three episodes ago for you now. I did not remember this episode. No. I watched it, and I was I was in, in, engorged. You're like, that's I a was funny dude on that TV. That's the wrong word. I was engorged. engaged. He was engorged. I was, I was I enjoyed uh, the beer, the, uh, the show. How close it, dude? <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to wrap this shit up, man. No, no, no. And it was... 
It was actually a good show, and I was like, dude. Oh, yeah, right? It blew me away. I know. I didn't remember any of it, so, like, all the time. It was like a little treat, right? <laughs> yeah, it was like, like a little surprise treat. show. Normally, normally, I can't watch my shows. I mean, because yeah. I'm going to be honest. I'm really boring, and this guy. <laughs> you made to look at this guy handle. for 30 minutes? Right, seriously? <laughs> I've been doing shows with this jerk Hey, Brian. For <laughs> Fuck, right? <laughs> Are you going to bleep those out? Are you leaving those? Yeah, you're bleeping those out. I like this show for the sole reason that I get so drunk during it that I don't remember it. Can I believe so it surprises we me. We are drunk dialing our own show right now. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. All right. If you would like to get a hold of us, go to jupitercolony.com. That's our forum. Go to twitter.com slash Brian Lunduk or Chris L-A-S. That would be me. Uh, those are the Twitter accounts. And then also this whole Mexican fiesta was brought to you by somebody just like yourself. Head over to jupiterbroadcasting.com on the right-hand side of the page. A little donate button. You click that sucker, you tell us what you want us to find. Becomes our mission. We make that happen. We love right making here. things happen. On Beer is Tasty. That's what we do. And, right. if you, and if you watch our other shows, uh, they're not Beer is Tasty. So... There's that. <laughs> Until next week, everybody. Knowledge is power. Cheers. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. Now, usually we're behind the camera. Jesse is with me. Hello again. Another camera operator, but we're doing another segment of Bar is Tasty here. That is when we do beer is tasty with liquor, basically. Exactly. You've got a former bartender here teaching you tips, tricks, mixology, the chemicals behind it. Um, and just a guy that likes booze sitting exactly. across the table Exactly. Well, hey, I like booze, too. Who I think doesn't? everyone involved in this show likes booze, whether it's beer is tasty, bar is tasty. Yeah, actually, the reason that the cameras are rolling on us is Brian and Chris are passed out drunk. They just decided <laughs> to turn them on. They don't even know we're doing this yet. <laughs> and since you help edit the footage of Beer is Tasty, you're They'll probably just going to cut it in. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are getting kind of an Easter egg. And um, be sure to thank Chris and Brian for their contribution to this. <laughs> so what are we making today, Jesse? Right now we're going to do a shot. It's just a straight up shot. It's called the chocolate cake. Now the cool thing about this is it's one of the few alcoholic drinks that taste exactly like its namesake. I mean, once you well, shoot this... I'm thankful that a sex on the beach does not taste exactly <laughs> like it's named sex. Less, less, uh, <laughs> less sand in your shorts with this one, too. Yeah. Which is another drink, by the way. But mm -hmm. anyway, so this is a pretty basic shot with a couple little bells and whistles. So what we're going to do is he's going to walk us through one, and then I'm going to try to make one, and then he's going to taste it and tell me how terribly I did. So Or how great you did. All right. So I'm going to make the first one, which is just two different types of booze. We've got Absolute Citron. Citrus vodka is absolutely crucial to this. And we're not going to go very high. These are double shot glasses. So mm -hmm. the amount of liquor that we're putting in these is actually not going to look like much, but it's going to be quite enough. Now, the thing I already find interesting about this is we've also got lime juice later on that we're going to use on these and citrus vodka. So even though we've got a bunch of citrus going on here, it's going to end up tasting like chocolate? And you, It is. And you actually reminded me that I did not sugar the rim first, which is good. So what we're going to do... That's because we've already done one segment of this. <laughs> and we're getting a little... Getting a little on. loopy. So <laughs> with the lime juice that I've just put into a bowl, you're just going to wet the rim of this glass. And uh, we have another bowl of sugar that makes a nice little coating That's pretty. of I'm sugar. That's pretty. I'm going to go ahead and do mine. Go for it. Now here you can have the vodka back. I... Thank you for the vodka. I saved oh, what I saved? poured in. Ah, oh, see, this is one of those tricks things that you pick up when you're a bartender. Yeah. You learn how to save the shot. Especially when you've already lost 50 grand on did it. Somebody say shot? Oh, somebody did say shot. <laughs> I think Chris just woke up a little bit. Now, the second type of alcohol that you're going to need is Frangelico. Now, I'm guessing there are other hazelnut liqueurs out there, but I've never once touched one because this is just great. Again, citrus plus hazelnut equals chocolate. I'm skeptical. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're skeptical. Everybody's skeptical. It's all good. Because you're going to make believers out of everybody when you make this shot. Now go ahead and just basically double that up with Frangelico. Okay, I think I went a little heavy on the vodka, so well, then enjoy. You're <laughs> <laughs> I've been enjoying very much so far. <laughs> Okay. Now, cool. All the over the table, perfect. Yep. The last little trick is these little lemon slices that we have cut in the middle. There's a little bit of a splice. Now, you can just set one of these next to it, or you can serve it on the rim. But you're going to actually sugar the lemon as oh. well. And you just kind of roll it around in there. The sugar will naturally stick. Okay. And go ahead. All righty. Here I go. Boop. 
in the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I All gotta right. say, there's a there's a, a nice amount of um, presentation that goes along with this as well. It is. It it can be a very pretty drink as well. But mm -hmm. here comes the best part. Now you have to tell your friends, or in my case, Jeremy, how to drink this. Not what, his friend. <laughs> <laughs> not my friend. What you do is you have the person you're serving to lick the rim, then you take the shot, then you bite the lemon. Okay. Well, let's trade and shots you have to see cake. how I did. And we can, keep, we can keep They're, the lemons. I think we're safe on the lemons. <laughs> so now, you go ahead and do mine first, and we'll okay, see so if I did all right. Lick the rim, lick the take rim, the shot, bite the lemon. Exactly. All right, here we go. He's already looking at me like it tastes like chocolate cake. What did I just put <laughs> in my mouth? <laughs> now, let's see. What? We had liquor that... Hazelnut liquor. No. Citrus vodka. You've probably heard the term mind fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. I don't, how, what? <laughs> well, first of all, let me see if yours tastes incredible before okay. I jump on this train with you. Yeah, I, I think I got the good one, really. Whoa. Mm. And how'd I do? Perfect. That does taste like a chocolate cake. That is... Fantastic. That's unbelievable. That was, again, that's like citrus vodka plus hazelnut frangelico. Frangelico. You get chocolate cake. Yep. The sugar on the lemon really, really helps on the back end because it doesn't come together until you bite that lemon. As soon as you bite the lemon, there it is. And you guys saw the look on my face. It's like halfway through it, you all of a sudden realize that this is not what you just put in that glass. This is the shot to serve if you know someone who doesn't think they like alcohol or if you have a big party and you really want to impress some people. Or Put if you just out. have some extra lemons laying around. Yeah. Or extra Frangelico. <laughs> so there you have it. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. This has been another episode of Bar is Tasty. I'm Jesse. And I'm Jeremy. Thanks for watching.